Can I enchant this? <laughs> I can. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Big ass sword. Wonder if mending will work on this. Probably not. Probably not. Alright, we need to make some more of these. Just so we don't run out. We're gonna run out of diamonds, but that's okay. Because we finally got the smithing upgrade. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Look at our armor. Getting destroyed. We have those netherite boots. We have three of them. Hmm, what do we want to do with that? Well, first off, we need more diamonds. That's one thing that we need. Do we have enchanted stuff yet? Nope. We need more diamonds. That is what we need. But what I also need to do is repair this damn helmet. Let's take some iron. We have 3,000 iron. That is so nice. Let's take this helmet off and repair this. Okay, holy cow. Oh, we just got some ancient debris and an upgrade base. Well, well, well. What do we want to make with this? Ooh, we can make this anvil and an upgrade thing. Let's do that, actually. Can we upgrade this further? Nope. Okay, so now do we just get a permanent anvil? In here? Looks like it. Doesn't go away either. Okay. Maybe it used XP. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Well, shit, man. We're Himothy, dude. We're Himothy right now. What's the next step? What is the next step for us right now? What is the next step? So the next step is probably all the modium again, huh? Can we RTP yet? No, we can't. We have 16. What? 16 hours? Okay, I need to change that. It's supposed to be every hour. That is way too high. The rent is too damn high. Good lord. Can I? Can I like... I can't deposit into that? Huh. Well, I'll deal with that when I get to it. So now we need to look for more deep dark. So the only deep dark is that way. So let's fly this way and find some more deep dark. See if we can find some closer. There's some this way. Perfecto. Do we have a... We don't have a waystone on us. Damn it. Let's go make some more waystones. Boom. Three waystones. Okay. To the deep dark we go. With waystones this time. Ooh, terracotta. We're going to need some of that later. A lot. Ooh, look. A waystone on the way. Nyong. A camel and a cat. Oh, is this is a little village. Yo. Oh, this has to be it with all this crazy ass shit going on here. Yeah, this has to be the one, right? It has to be. We'll do deep dark top. So we'll tell ourselves that it's on top of the deep dark. Put this in our off hands and we'll go here. Oops. Having used the special to mine is actually not great, unfortunately. So, so eight blocks. We got 21. Nice. Wait a minute. It didn't take damage. Did, huh? Hold on a minute. Yo, what? Okay, there it took damage. All right. I uh, thought it would maybe be a, a trade or something. We're in the deep dark. Please be a big deep dark. Sounds like it might be. This better be a huge deep dark biome. Don't tell me it's not, please. Well, there's skulks up here. More of this crazy ass redstone. Oh, hello, diamonds. Thank you. 14 diamonds. I am on the hunt. Sounds like they're right up here. Here we are. Is this a spawner? It is a spawner. Say goodbye, spiders. The weird ass bug. More skulk. This is good. Promising. Not this way though. Okay. Oh, you're cheating. 
I'm gonna cheat too then, bitch. Get cheated. Oh, I guess this thing does take mending. Because uh, it's full again, it's full durability again. I suppose it does take mending. Well, that's nice. Look at that. Would you just look at it? More asses. Okay. We like the ass. I'm a fan. Tablet of cupidity. I think that just brings us to a spawner. Quick sea shard. More stuff from Art Nouveau, which is going to be important for later. I really want to get into Art Nouveau later. Do some things with some Drigmies, because I've never done that, but they look fun. Oh, yeah. Having mending on this bad boy is going to be nuts. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. Uh oh, here he comes. Here comes the big man. Right? The big man's gonna be here? Leave me alone, big man. You're scary. You're gonna make me shit myself. Oh, hell. I can't fight him. I can't fight him. I cannot fight him. I definitely cannot. He will one-tap me. I'm sorry for bothering you. I'm gonna just, uh... Just gonna leave, okay? Found a cave. Maybe it'll lead to the skulk area. Yeah, I wish. Oh, I wish. Hello? It could. It actually could. This is a rather large cave. This could be it. Oh, this is just a volcano area. No mimic, but that's okay. Oh, we got the panic necklace. Gives us extra movement speed after we get hit. Okay, some raw salmon. Mimic over here. A mimic! Die. What'd you give me? Oh, look at that. An extra level of looting when we kill stuff. Neat. Some punk camp high. That's good. New food is always good. A gem. A blue. Or a purple gem. Blue sword. Potatoes. Potatoes. Well, let's put those pumpkin pies in here. No mimic. Dang it. Mimics give you a chance of getting those, uh, of getting things like this from artifacts the artifacts mod so it's really nice to find mimics oh wait oh wait this is a lot of skulk that doesn't necessarily mean it's an end city but there could be all the modium here because it is in the deep dark oh there's some right there all the modium no! No, he's gonna get me! Quick, run away! Run away! <laughs> okay, okay. He never saw it coming. Oh my god. The big man wants my butt. And we found some Aldemodium, dude. Let's freaking go. How much did we get? Just one. Okay, we just got one. But that's fine. That is fine. I need to get that perk that reduces all, uh, that removes, like, reductions in mining speed while you're, like, underwater and stuff. Well, we got some Aldemodium, dude. That is freaking awesome. So we can mark this as the real deep dark. But it's not an ancient city. I don't know if I can kill this guy, bro. Should we try it for the memes? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that was no. <laughs> that was my first death, dude. Oh man. Ooh -wee. Well, we learned that we cannot take on the warden. Does he smell me already? I just got here. Run away! Run away! Oh, there is an ancient city down there. Wait, what happened? 
My bat backpack. It's over there. Oh no. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I can't find it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm gonna shit my pants. I can't see anything. We're just going to go home. <laughs> when we go back there, he's gonna be there. No. My bat backpack, dude. Oh, man. Well, that was my first death. Well, we know we got the achievement. You survived 10 hours in your first grave. <laughs> so that was my first death. He, uh, he two tapped us. Yep, he two tapped us. I mean, to be fair, you could say it was also user error the way that I was flying around, but um, yeah, he f he messed me up. This is a reality check. That's what that was. <laughs> well, the awesome thing though is we got some damn raw aldamadium. The unfortunate thing is we can't really. Ooh, we got a, a an award. What was it? Aldamadium. We get an all the modium ore. Hell yeah. What can I do with this? I can put it in the chemical injection chamber. So that's a guaranteed four. If we put it... So purification is three. If we put it in the chemical injection. It is four. These go into clumps. These go into dirty all the modium. Okay, 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 okay. So we can put this in the system. The, the raw ore that is. So we can just go... Bloop. Yes. Yes. What a what a reward. What a freaking reward, man. Okay, what can we do with this? Um, we can crush it. Or oh, this only gives that's for 3, that's for 1. This is for 3. This is for 1. So we put it in the purification chamber, we at least get 2. Okay? So this is how we get the most out of it, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so one turned into two, which means I can do what I wanted to do the entire time. Okay, since that quest reward was really nice, um, but also because we used our ore factory, we can do what we wanted to do because we have extra aldamadium here. So we want to make the calcinated aldamadium powder because we want to make the aldamadium sight charm. So first we need to make this, then we need to cook this, just toss it in here, cook it up, cook it up, cook it up, cook it up. And then when we use that, we need to use it on a mundane potion, which we can use sugar for. Oops. Thank you. So we can use sugar. Just need one on some bottles of water. One, two, three. And now we can do this, this, put that in there. Go grab the calcinated all the modium powder. Then when this is done, we can toss this in here and get some all the modium sight potions. Oh, baby. Ready? Boom. Brew up, baby. Now while that's brewing, what we want to do is take this and get some nuggets and now we can make a teleport pad. What we actually want to do, ooh, we got a reward, hold on. After we made the teleport pad, what do we get? A lily pad of fertility. That is actually nice. Okay. So, right, first let's dump this because it's freaking full. Uh, let's put the avocado toast in here so we eat something new. This is done. Now we have all the modium sight potions. And now what we can do with this is turn this into a charm of all the modium sight. Boom! Oh, now we can use this. If we turn it on, we get sight for, of all the modium, and then we can turn it back off. We can turn it on, and then we can turn it off to save durability. What else did we get here? Just XP? And we got something else. Ooh. Oh, just iron sight. That's still fine. And a rare reward, a oak diamond chest. Okay. Well, we got raw all the modium. We did that today. That is sick. Now we need this all the modium upgrade. But we need to go to the ancient city down there and sift it. We need to sift some ancient clay. 
to actually get the reward. So what I was saying we needed to do, we're actually gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna make two teleport pads. And the reason for this is because one of them, if you use it in the overworld, takes you to the mining dimension. But if you use another one in the nether, it takes you to the other, which is really interesting. So the other, is a completely different dimension. It's very, very powerful, very, very strong stuff there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this here. Uh, we're not gonna use that right now because we need to gear up before we go there. There are some specific dungeons to all the modium there or to the, all the mods. They have an ATM dungeon there and it is super, super strong. So we don't wanna go there. There's like hundreds of mobs, literally hundreds. I mean that. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait on that. Let's see what we can do with the rest of these though for now. Looks like not much. We actually need the smithing template if we wanna upgrade anything, even our weapons. So we're gonna wait on that, but we have it. We have all the modium now. Okay, so now what we can do is go to the mining dimension and we can use our boon of the earth pickaxe here. If we have a soul, I wanna see if I can get that efficiency off of that hammer. We don't have a soul, okay, that's fine. But I would like to get that efficiency off that hammer for my pickaxe, but that's okay. We don't necessarily need to do that right now, so I'll just wait. But we do want to go to the mining dimension. So let's do that. So you have nothing in your offhand, you have nothing in your main hand, crouch and right click. Boom, the mining dimension. What are you gonna give us? Just XP. You will find all the modium, but you will not find vibranium or obtanium. All the modium is more common though in the deep slate layer. Let's count out from this so we can have it nice and, let's go north, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's do nine blocks in between and we'll break this and we'll do a mining tunnel. We'll do a mining tunnel here. Yeah, okay. Ooh, not having the night vision is gonna suck. Let's see if we can actually make a bat backpack before we continue that. Yeah, I don't know where it went. I couldn't find it. Uh, let's see if we can make one though. Ooh, we need a smithing table, leather, and we need... Can we not make this? We can't make it. Can we? Can we? Night vision. Do we have night vision goggles? We do have night vision goggles. Okay, sadly we have to take off the snorkel, but we have night vision, so I'm okay with that. That's all right. Unfortunately, we don't get to keep the bat backpack, but that is okay. We will just do with what we have. Let's continue to go down here. We'll use this because it gets ore from stone every now and then. So let's keep using this. Look at all this juicy ore already. Oh, man. Yeah, look at all that. Osmium, emerald, nether quartz, tin. So, previously in all the mods 9, Boon of the Earth, unfortunately, was plagued by a lot of Greg Tech ore drops, so you couldn't really use it that effectively. But, there has been an update since then that has actually made it much nicer to use. So, we're actually able to use it, and we won't get a crap ton of just Greg Tech ore which is really useful and handy because it was it was basically kind of useless to even use it unfortunately put this dark stone in our offhand here um because of what we're about to do does this also give us ore zinc it looks like it yeah it looks like it's giving us ore even from deep slate which is really cool i actually have there's there's a picture that tells you the best area so 96 to 86 is the ideal for all the modium. Where are we at right now? 119. Okay, so we need to keep going down. Now you'll still find Greg Tech ore in here, of course, but when you use Boon of the Earth, you won't really be getting Greg Tech ore while you're uh, mining just stone. That's what we plan to do. We plan to mainly just go for stone so we can get raw ore, but also we'll be mining beautiful things like this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All the modium, baby. Give me that, thank you. Okay, so we are, this is the ideal level. 
It's 96 to 86. So let's go right here. And let's just do a large tunnel. And we're going to use our trick that we do. This. So we can maximize Boon of the Earth. And we can also maximize getting all of the ores very quickly. And our dank here will be a godsend in picking up all of the stone that would fill up our backpack so we can focus on only getting ore with this. We already have six raw aldamadium. That's crazy, man. That is beautiful. I think it's I think fortune doesn't work in the overworld on it, but I think here it does. I could be wrong. I could be wrong in saying that. But when we mined it with fortune five in the overworld, we only got we only got one, which could just be us not getting lucky. But I think I might be onto something with that. So there's some more gold ore. Yeah, Boon of the Earth is going to be really handy for us here. And Mending works on this Silent Gear pickaxe, which I'm surprised to see, but I am totally here for it. Yeah, this is the strategy right here, man. Use this Dark Stone so you can always mine everything. Oh, look at that Aldamadium there. Looking juicy. Now, you can't use FTB Ultimine on this. You can't quarry it either. So you have to mine it one by one, but still. Look at that, 16 already, juicy. And that's gonna turn into a lot because you gotta remember we can put that into our ore factory and we can turn three into eight. So right now, if you take you take three times five, or sorry, you're gonna take eight times five. So that's 40 ingots we already have there. Again, the main thing missing from this mod pack is a way to swap between FTB Ulta mines. I might make my own mod for that, honestly. That sounds like a good idea. I dabble. I dabble in the programming. I only do it for a job. So that sounds like something I might want to attempt to do. We're doing good, man. We are doing good. You see that iron ore down there? Typically, if you mine... Actually, let's go ahead and try this. So you see, when I mine this with large tunnel, it's not going to mine the ores. But if you use dark stone, it'll mine all of them. The only things it won't mine are... Arcane debris and the Aldamadium ores. Everything else gets mined easy peasy. So right now I'm kind of just going in a straight line simply to use the boon of the earth on this pickaxe. But also so when I use my Aldamadium charm I have a long ways that I can walk around where Aldamadium will be. Just so we can walk up and down the pathway and just collect all of it that we can find. Let's grab this gold. Let's grab this iron. And let's start using our Aldamadium charm here. We have Aldamadium sight. Look at that. Beautiful. Let me in there. And it'll go away because we're using the tar charm. We're turning it on and off. But that's fine. It'll last longer than the potions if you're smart with it. Boom. Right on top of it. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's a three vein. Yeah, it is. All right, let's turn this back on. There's two more down here. Let's check the durability on this thing. 188 of 192. We've already gotten quite a lot of Aldamadium from it. See, the potions put you on a timer, right? But you can turn this one on and off as you please, and it only costs one durability when you do that. You can essentially use it 192 times. Use it, look around quickly. If you see nothing, just turn it off really fast. Now we'll probably not be able to find this because it's gone. But you just mine towards it and hope you get lucky. Or if you just have really good spatial awareness, then you can find it like that. I don't really have good spatial awareness in Minecraft, so that was just uh, luck on my behalf. <laughs> yeah, get lucky or have good spatial awareness. And I get lucky. We already have 70 isn't that freaking awesome? Okay, let's check from here. Oh, man, look at all this. Okay, perfect. And let's see if we can find this one, too. See here, we might have passed it. Yep, see, I went right under it. How are we doing on durability here? 3,800 out of 4,200. Not bad. Beautiful. Okay, we already have 92. That's going to turn into a lot. 90 is 30. So 90 is 30. Um, if you take 3 times 30, that's 90, right? So then you want to take 8 times 30. And that's how much you're going to get from this. So we're going to get 
240 aldamadium from this. Holy cow. Look, we got a bunch of gold. We got a bunch of copper, a ton of copper. We got some emeralds. We got some diamond ore, some diamonds here, some raw iron. We got a whole bunch of ore from, from our beautiful, beautiful pickaxe. And honestly, I think we'll mine a couple of these exposed ores and then we'll just go back. This is when things start to get crazy though. Once you once you get to the mining dimension and you start mining stuff like this, oh, stuff starts to go wild. And veins are veins are typically much bigger in the mining dimension as well, which is really, really nice. Okay, so we went through here. This is where we found our Aldamadium. Let's go, we'll look for a couple more up here. This is a three vein. And after this one, we'll grab a couple more ore that are exposed and then we're gonna head back home. This is going to be real. Man, our, our ore machine is going to be pumping for a long time to catch up to all this. I'm just going to fly this way now. But it's good because we need all these resources so we can continue to expand and uh, continue to improve our our entire thing. Our entire setup. We need all of these resources so we can continue to improve our setup and everything. Alright, let's go up. And what's really awesome about the mining dimension is no mobs spawn here. It's literally just for mining. It's really insane. And later on, you can actually get a quarry and just quarry out everything. Now, like I said, all the mod, all the modium, vibranium, and unobtainium are not quarryable. But that means that the quarry will just strip everything else out and just leave the all the modium there for you to see and to mine it. It's really freaking nuts. Let's grab this Aldamadium. I want to go ahead and toss this in so it has priority over here. So we'll toss it into here. Was that an even amount? I don't think it was. It was 64. It was 64, which means two more, right? Oh yeah, it was it was even. Perfect. Okay, we'll just throw that in there too. Awesome. Sweet. So this is going to be cooking up Aldamadium. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, it's so good. We're gonna have so much Aldamadium now. Oh, the struggle was worth it. Okay, let's deposit all of this juicy stuff in here. Let's take our raw blocks here and let's convert them into their ore. Let's see, we have a ton of ore here. What can we do with this? Can we throw this in the chemical injection chamber as well? Just as it is? It does not look like it, but we can use the enrichment chamber. So we might make an exporter here. We'll make an elite exporter. Now we need some cabling. We're gonna need more than that, so we'll just make some. Now, go over here. Well, what happened? Something gets stuck? Ah, it was too much, okay. It was one more too much. All right, so see, that's what happens if you don't let your system do the math, but I was wanting to rush that stuff so bad. Okay, so on the enriching factory, we wanna place that. And we want to run this this way here. Now, what we can do is let's actually just grab our ore here. What ore do we have? Okay, let's grab a zinc, grab all of these. You can check to see if you have enough space with your importer like this because your, your exporter, sorry. You can check to see if your exporter has enough space by checking it by two rows because it's two, it's two nine rows. So it's a nine by two. Um, so it looks like we will have just enough to get everything in there that we want. All right, yep, they're all singular ores. So now let's go over here. And we should just be able to do this. So now when the system's done with everything else, I mean, it'll also just throw it in here. <laughs> um, but anything that we get, just regular raw ore like this, it will automatically output it into here. Uh, it can't go through the full process, unfortunately, it cannot, but it can go through this process to at least double what you're getting from them. So that is really nice. Oh, see, here's a problem. We have diamond here, but we can't output diamond. So we need to make an importer to take stuff like that out. So let's make an importer, an elite importer, because I think I'm going to need one at some point anyway. Probably want to upgrade this furnace as well and kind of link it to our system. Ah, see, you always need more processors. That's why I can't wait to set up auto crafting. So I can just have these things always in stock. That is the part that I'm super excited for. But now that we have all the modium, we can start getting into that. Um, but first, I think I should probably make my house. Or at least kind of what I want it to look like. Put this on the front. 
do this. And we want it to be a whitelist. Diamond. So put diamond in here. Emerald. Nether quartz, I believe, also went through here. We'll also put in netherite scrap because that will also get stuck in here once we start uh, exporting the ancient debris to the crusher. Redstone and lapis lazuli. I believe all of these will get stuck in here. Oh, it doesn't. Ah, we need to tell this to allow output in the front. There we go. So now you see all of these aren't getting stuck now. And you have to make sure you put this on whitelist for these because if you just leave it on blacklist, that means that it's everything is whitelisted. That means that it's just going to pull out all of the dust here. Um, it's going to pull the dust out in here instead of letting it cook in here. Some of it might get through, but you want to make sure to set it up like this. This will be much better for you. Might want to toss some speed upgrades in here as well. It looks like it's getting uh, stopped up because it can't import fast enough. We'll just need, I think we just need one. So the difference between an elite importer and exporter versus a normal one. A normal one does one item at a time. Um, of course, you can upgrade that with stack upgrades and such. But an elite version does eight items at a time and it works, I believe, four times faster um, without any upgrades. So now this thing's going to just be, as soon as things are in the way here, it's just going to be pumping items out. It's going to be super, super fast. This one, we don't really worry about upgrades so much because it's just going to pipe them. It's just going to pipe them as they come in. And there's not many. I think it's already done, actually, with all of the ore. Uh, but yeah, that's really, really cool. Look at all the ore in here, man. Ooh, and it's still, it looks like it's still dropping ore into here, actually. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's still dropping it in. And that's just because of the speed of these things. There, see, look how many, see, look how much is in here. They're just too slow um, to deal with it, even with an overclocker upgrade on it. Which we can change, we can upgrade this system as well. We can add more laser nodes here. And I'm sure there's more of an upgrade that we can do as well. I'm just not the most privy. I know how to set this up. Uh, I would have to do more. I'd have to do more testing to see if I can make it faster. But isn't that cool? Whenever you tell it to output an item, it does cute, cool little particles that match. So right now it's outputting copper. That's really neat. And you'll see you'll see the items over here as well. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's cool. I think that's really cool. Okay, turn the shaders back on. Um. Let's upgrade, would it just give me a bunch of XP? Let's upgrade this furnace really quickly. What can we upgrade it with? Oh, obsidian, perfect. So the cooking time here is 40 ticks. Then it goes down to 20 ticks, which is literally one second. And we can then upgrade it further to a netherite furnace, which is five ticks. So that is the item is done four times a second. So 0.25 seconds. And I think this is perfectly fine. Did we not? Oh, we got the augment. Okay, so let's toss the augment in here. Let's turn auto split on. Let's turn input into the top. Output on the left. All right, now it's hooked back up. All good to go. Oh man, look at all this stuff in here. Can I just do this? So right now I'm holding control and pressing Q. If you hold control and press Q, it'll drop an entire stack. So that's what I'm doing here because I want it to go to my backpack so I don't have to worry about taking multiple stacks out with my inventory. So now that I have it in my backpack, right here, I can just go boop, and it's all getting put into the system. Right there. How much gold do we have now? 1.5k. We literally had like 90 gold earlier. This is so good. And the system's not even done. It's not even done cooking all these ore. Look at that. Look at all those ingots, man. This is super awesome. And we don't even have all the ingots done yet. We don't even have all the drawers for that. But now I think it's time for me to take a step back and see what I want to do with this house. Because we, we are at a really great state now. We have the mining factory go going. We have the we have the watermelon farm here cooking up. The watermelon uh, power production plant over here. This is still considered early game power, by the way. This is still an early game power system right here. But we set it up in a way that was expandable so we can have two of these things going. And I'm I'm really happy with this. This is a really good setup, and I I think we did a good job here. So yeah, look, we're up to 41,000 melons. We're actually full on melons. It's crazy. Yeah, look at all these melons we have here. Damn. Okay, let's put a stack upgrade on that. We can hold all the melons so our botany pots don't get stuck. I think it's copper upgrade is the start. Yeah, so copper upgrade. 
let's make one of these. Let's turn it into a gold upgrade. And what's really great about these is they stack. So these stack on top of each other. So it says that it increases it by 16 times. Uh, the block item storage by 16. But what's really cool is if you have more than one in here, it will allow it to stack on top of that one. So now it can hold 10 million melon slices. That is insane, dude. So it's gonna slowly transfer these out. It's gonna do its it's gonna do its best. Um, but I'm not putting upgrades in all of these. I'll just let it go slowly. It'll it'll slowly catch up. It'll be totally fine. But yeah, okay. Our melon it looks like our melons are doing good then. If we have if we we already are way too full. Yeah, all these well, not all of these pots, of course, but all of these ones over here were completely full. That's a good thing. We have that going now. The system's kicking off at full speed. Look at it. It is going. Look at it. Look, just, just look at it. This thing's getting filled up. This one is also getting filled up. Oh, man. I'm so happy with this, dude. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm going for right now. It's pretty simple. I kind of want to have like a raised fading down roof over here on this side. And the same over here, but a little more, a little, um, a little more than this side over here. I think I'm going to raise this one up actually. One, just so it's uh, a bit higher for where the loft is going to be. But this side I'll, I'll have like cascade, cascading down gonna do like the triangle offset triangle like a sharp here a sharp turn here and then boom boom and then probably up on this one so this one will probably be up here along with that one or I might be or I might go down one since there's not a second floor here free durability yeah, so I might go down one here because it's or down lower because it's not uh, holding like a loft or anything I'm really debating this part right here just because like do I want this in the house you know what I mean like do I do I really want this in the house I think the better idea at least for these drawers literally might be to put them way over there um, in their own building because this is just gonna take up too much space and I'd like to keep this area pretty clean but what I'm also realizing is we might uh, end up building an underground area anyway, even though I said I kind of wanted to avoid that. But we could have it like tunnel down and then build a area like poking out of the hill. But I don't have the I don't have the aesthetic eye for that. I really don't. I'm I'm definitely more of a functional build type of person i mean look i just made a big ass square and put the ore factory and the melon farm on it so clearly i don't have that much of an aesthetic eye um and then that thing well that thing honestly is going to look a little bit like a wither so that's okay what the hell an enderman put a block in there <laughs> okay anyway yeah i don't i don't know man it's it's probably gonna be an underground area <laughs> even though i said i wanted to avoid one it's probably gonna be that or it's going to be above ground one, and I don't really want to deal with that because I would like, at some point, I'd like to have mine colonies over here, even though the land looks kind of like shit. I think having mine colonies over here would be a pretty cool thing to have, just in this big area over here. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to build this house first. I'll finish the roof, and I'll decide, I'll decide what to do after that, I guess. I don't, I don't know what I want to do, man. <laughs> kind of want to make the GUI a bit bigger right now. I wish there was like a 3.5 because 4 is just too big. This is way too big for me to play with. Like it hurts my eyes. Um, but it might be better for your viewing experience. Screw it. I'll try to get used to this. If it's too big, you can let me know and I'll change it. Um, Vertical disordered. I kind of want to go for something that looks nice and would have a decent pattern. Can I put this back in here to change it? Okay, I can. Okay. Um, We're going to need a lot of wood. So I can make a bunch of framed blocks. So let's just go mine a bunch of crap. I put this here so I can deposit my barrel stuff into it. I'll probably move it to make it look a little better. Framed. We need the framed cube, I think. Is This is the main one, right? Yeah. 
need a bunch of these. Oops, what are we out of here? Oh, sticks. Wait, what? Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. It's lower because I placed it wrong. Duh. I'm a silly damn gooba man. Okay, so this is the middle point here. This part will cascade down. This part will cascade down, and this part will just go flat down. Okay. Sweet. Let's try this simple cobble. Holy crap, what the hell is that? That doesn't look good at all. That doesn't look like what I got. What the hell? Ooh, wait, we can do roof stuff. Like actual roof things from macaws. Yo. Maybe this will make it look good, yeah? I don't think cobble's the right move. What? Ouch, shit. Can we... We can't redo it after we make it. Damn it, um... What well, looks good with spruce? I'll say, okay, so I updated uh, all the mods, nine, and there's some more chapters here. Um, they've added more references and things in here as well. So they improved processes. I need to do a real think about this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll try the other one and then we'll swap the roof later. We'll try the normal deep slate. Oh god, I need to turn the throttle down. You can adjust the throttle of your jetpack with the greater than and less than signs on your keyboard. So it's really helpful for building because that was so damn annoying. Now this is going to look like shit if I leave it like that. Actually, it's going to look so bad. It looks okay, I guess. Maybe we just do something a bit old school <laughs> instead of... Making me lose my damn mind right now with trying all these wacky things. Maybe we just go back to a basic build. Yeah, I'm not repairing you. Sorry, Axe. You are going to be down for the count. Let's just make another one that is better than him. Let's just make one that's better so he can feel bad. Just use Obsidian, man. Actually, we'll probably use that smithing template. Take the obsidian axe. Needs to go into the silent gear one. Boom. Ba doop poop. Now the right obsidian axe. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, now we have this awesome axe here. So that is good. That is good. And it got hella durability. Yeah. Good old fashioned stairs. Thank you. Then we can do this and then this and then we can go single single right or do we want to do single single then flatten it out yeah that'll be better okay i'll take that deal i don't know we'll uh just go to bed just go to bed man i really need to like do some kind of building tips or so. i need to figure out some building tips or something because i'm stumped here on what to do <laughs> i am absolutely stumped on this transition right here like i want to go higher but i don't want to go higher than this to make this a smooth transition, I don't know how to do that properly. Um, Framed blocks might be my friend here. I need to do some checking on those. Can I do multiple slab corners together like that? No. Am I being silly? Can I just do that and it would work? I mean, it will. It's not going to look the best. But hey, it'll, it'll freaking work. Was I overcomplicating this? I think I was. My brain really doesn't like that. It doesn't like that corner piece there <laughs> like that. Well, so this one's not as steep as this part. So I think we need to reeval this part here. I think this is what's messing me up here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. So that's how we need to do that one. Turn around, damn it. A building moment. Building is annoying. <laughs> I am really annoyed right now with this. Uh, no, I messed up right here. Framed blocks save me. That this protrusion is bothering me. The only way I can think to fix this is to do that. Is that, is that it? No way. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Yep. Patterns and whatnot. Brain, brain went stupid. Oh, I need more deep slate. 
Well, that was that was painful. Okay, well, we can break this now. No way, man. I was just making it way too complicated for myself. Jeez. Well, I eventually got it. Damn, look at this thing cook. God. Okay. Um, this part of the roof kind of makes me feel gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. But I think it's all right. Uh, the, be the best thing that we could do is maybe lower this by one and cascade it more. I don't know. This part looks good. This part's a bust, <laughs> but I'm not, uh, I'm not going to cry about it. That is okay. Yeah, you know, it was okay. I think it's all right. We need to make it look all pretty on the inside and fill in the walls and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I think it looks fine. I think it looks okay. Let's get some, uh, windows in here. What the hell? How did I manage that? Maybe we want these all to be upright. So they can match the uh, framed blocks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. You you know it. This guy, he he knows what he's talking about. I'm using these here just to allow me to put these into the wall, and also just for a bit of a uh, raised texture out of the building. Okay, is that every outside block? I think it is. Oh, you bastards getting into my house like that. Okay, sweet. So that's every outside block. All right. Yeah, I'm probably going to move these at some point, but for now, they're fine. I could probably do with pushing that into the wall. Put this here. Move. I want to access my storage. Get out of my way and go down one more so I can have more space to work with. There we go. We got some space down here now. Okay, now we can set up these cables. Probably want to set it on the back actually here. Just out of the way. Those in there. And do that. Priority plus 10. Okay. Okay, sweet. Now we have some space down here to do any cabling and such. All right, now we have stairs going down. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I need to make some framed trap doors. What the hell? What the shit? Why are you guys placed like that? Okay, there we go. Alrighty. I let my chickens out. That's what those chickens were that were running around. Those were my chickens. Man, I'm gonna have to find those again. Whoa. Okay, so these do have iron in them. Alright, they just got stuck by the, the uh, poppies there. Damn, not having a door here actually sucks now. That is okay. We have a door here. Let's have the base footprint done now. Do a two, two windows there. And here for just some extra lighting from the sun. Now we need more connecting glass. Panes. Then down, down, boom, boom. Place those there and put some dark oak on it. Okie dokie. Now we need some lighting. So let's make some lanterns, I guess. Oh, we need to connect up our storage. Multiple, go here and do that. Okie dokie. Need some lanterns. Well, for sure we want one there. Probably put one right above our bed. Do one here. One here and here. One above the door. And one right there. And there. Going down the stairs. Okie dokie. Well... There's still a lot of room to add things to make it look prettier, but we have an enclosed base. Finally, I rebuilt the house. This side of the roof is kind of wonky and it's really messing with my head. It's a standard little Minecraft house. This is okay. This is fine with me. A nice little box. <laughs> it's a nice little box house. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the best builder by any means. I just need. Uh, I just need to work on machines. That's what. That's what I need in my life. But since we fully built this thingy, now we can actually start playing the game again. Aesthetics. Now, 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 now. Let's clear out our inventory of all of our building crap. Let's fill up this barrel. Is everything getting pulled out? It is. Okay, perfect. We have 300 all the modding ingots because we went absolutely nuts. So that is sick. That is really cool. That is really, really sick. Which means we can 
uh, get some netherite stuff and upgrade this. But we need the smithing template for all the modium. And to get this, we need to find it in the ancient cities. If I check up here, you go to, oh man, look at this, look at this change they did for the all the mod star. Can I zoom out? Yeah, there we go. Look at this thingy. Ding. Well, this is cool. This is much easier to follow for the all the mod star. That is really neat. We need to find the ancient city to get suspicious clay for this. Oh, this thing doesn't, doesn't run at all if uh, nothing's using it. So that's cool, I guess. Well, let's clear this thingy out real quick. It's, uh, it is on my nerves. Okay, at least we got that cleared out. And that looks much better for my eyeballs. Except for this little uh, strand here. Okie dokie. What isn't getting stored in a packing drawer right now? Aluminum? Tin? We don't we don't have tin stored, so we will pull all of the tin out of here. Drop it in here. Then we need to get all of the nickel. So I know for sure that isn't stored. We're not storing silver, so we can do that one as well. We want to store zinc, but we don't no, we have we'll have just enough room. I think that's every ore actually if we pull that out too, right? Except for all the modium. Compacting drawers. I need, I'm gonna need a few of these. Cobble, it's your time to shine, buddy. Get in there. Can this not pull out while it's running? Oh, we made eight, okay. Well, it's fine. Do this here, this here, this here, and this here. We'll take these out. And these ones, we'll move those to the side. Now, are all these locked? You need to be locked, locked, locked. Okay, all of these are locked. Now we use the linking tool. Grab this, link all of those. Okay, those are all linked. Now we can just drop those in there. Perfect, okay. All right, awesome. So all of the ingots are in the wall now, or all of the ones that are a lot there, that there are a lot of, so that's good. So we are saving a lot of storage. We still have 44,000 items. Um, we'll move these probably at some point into a huge building where we can store them all uh, but for now they are okay i'm gonna probably put an exporter on that so we can just pull items out and put them directly in our storage i think that's what i'm gonna do right now or an importer rather is what we need to make one two three so one two three right to here importer run the cable across to connect to that Okay, it's working. All right, it was working. It was just working on the poppies and there was too many of them. So now the irons, the iron and the poppies will automatically come to our system. I probably, since I have so many poppy flowers, uh, I might pipe those to a trash can for now. Let's go to this and we will change it to whitelist and we'll tell it to only import iron. And then we will place the trash can down next to this. Place the trash can. Hello, chicken. Can you move? You're going to be in my way. I would really like to keep you. All right, chicken. Come with me. Come here, chicken. Come in here. Stay in there. Okay, so now I need this wrench. Place this item thingy here. Tear that off. Then we'll blacklist iron so it won't trash the iron but now it'll output the poppies into here so we don't store them at the moment or what we could do instead of piping it directly onto this you could pipe it here cut that off and then so this will still not take iron but what this will do is it'll allow some of the poppies to go into here until this maxes out and then if it can't fill up anymore they'll all just output into the trash can so we can hold a thousand poppies in here It'll, it'll split like half because the way these work is they do like a round robin system. They'll push to here and then there. See, you got some there. So they'll push like to this and to this. I don't know the exact details on how these work, but I know that they, they send to each object that's attached to them. It's not like a closest first. You can change it to be closest first, but right now they're not really smart because they don't have an upgrade. They kind of just push to anything and they push it like boom push it to this one and push it to this one uh so typically you get like half the items in this one and then half will go here uh, this will just be my temporary solution so i don't fill up my storage with poppies we probably want more iron farms at some point but for now we are good 
Okay, now that we have that taken care of, so I don't have to check that thingy anymore. Do we have a soul on that grave yet? We don't. Okay. Okie dokie. I, we really need some new armor, man. Good lord. And some XP. We need XP, actually. That is really, really what we need is XP. Uh, to solve that, we might want to make our mob farm work. So maybe that's what we'll do now. Since we have all the modium, we might want to set that up. The mob farm is going to be a really great source of XP and items from mobs. It's going to be really useful for us. So we're going to put a pretty heavy focus on that in the next episode. The latter half of this video didn't really have much content or exploration, but that's just how it goes. You know, we needed to get that house done. I really wanted to get something built. I'm not the best builder. I'm not really confident in that part, and I'm sure you could hear it in my voice while I was doing the playthrough and while I was building, but that's just how it goes. You know, I was a little outside of my comfort zone, but that's fine. Now we get back into what I really like to do, and that's to build machines and build systems that work efficiently. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you take care, and I'll see you in the next one.